<laughs> Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Waxen. Look at my fit for today. A, Air Jordan 3, Black Cements. Holy crap, bro. With the cargo pants with the brand new belt, Levi's and Stussy, bro. Look at it. I don't even know if you can see it. Bro, literally. Had to hit the 360 on them, you feel? Jordan shirt. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Is it hot in here or is it just me? For real. And I'm wearing the Prada. Because I'm wearing Prada. Because she Prada me. But not that you guys know anything about that, though. <laughs> you ain't know nothing about that, though. Literally, bro. You ain't know nothing. You know nothing about this trip, bro. No. What would Joshua Bloss do? Warning. This is by far the worst we've ever seen, Josh. And it all starts at 1 p.m. with a tall cloth. That's going to be two standard drinks, $5, and 200 calories. At 3 p.m., Josh has a high noon and washes that down with a Captain of the Sea cocktail. In total, 3.5 standard drinks, $26, and 450 calories. 6 p.m., Josh has a glass of wine and then a high noon for two standard drinks, $22, and 225 calories. At 7 p.m., Josh has a pina colada. This is 2.5 standard drinks, $17, and 400 calories. He then pregames his own tour at 10 p.m. with a pint of beer for 1.5 standard drinks, $8 and 200 calories. Then while on tour at 11 p.m., Josh has a rum and coke for 1.5 standard drinks, $18 and 250 calories. After his tour at midnight, he has a high noon for one standard drink, $8 and 100 calories. Captain's definitely not done. At 1 a.m., we have another high noon for one standard drink, $8 and 100 calories. And at 2 a.m., Josh has a whole new record. At 2 a.m., he has a Long Island iced tea for four standard drinks, $20 and 450 calories. Total for the day are just insane. He had 19 standard drinks, an average BAC of 0.25, a highest BAC of 0.38, which is a new record for him, 2,465 calories consumed, and $132 spent. Hey, some guy texted you. He wants to know if you'll follow him back. I'll block him if you want. You don't need to block him, love. I trust you. He's a new guy at work. I know. But what I do need you to know is that I'm infatuated. I'm obsessed. I'm captivated by you. I want every ounce of your soul to blend with mine because I'm beyond selfish when it comes to your love. I want to use every breath I have left on this earth, getting as close as I can to having you all to myself. I won't lie. I'm a tad bit jealous over that text. I feel like there's only one way to get over it. And which way is that? By giving you all of me for the remainder of this life. Then give it. Put your hand back. Relax. Just be honest, the vast majority of the cheating are done by the woman. And once again, ladies, I, I just want to show something, okay? So this is 5 inches versus 11 inches. Like, why the hell do you need this for? Like. Where is this going? Are you absolutely out of your mind? But here's the thing, right? For the people who say, oh, I'm exaggerating. No, this is 100% real. For example, if you, let's say, pull together a group of uh, 100 women, let's say for this uh, group of women, you find the uh, two perfect guys uh, for this woman. And these guys, they're the same height, same look, same personality, same income. They, they got the house in the suburbs, they have the Mercedes and everything. But they say the only difference between these two men is that one of them is 5 inches and the other guy is 11 inches. I can guarantee you this. Let's say, you know, you pull the random group of 100 women. At least 95 will choose the man that's 11 inches. You know, women have become the perverts in all religions, all ethnicities. And they, and if you ask these young women to rate uh, the other group of, uh, of young men, the group of men that will come up uh, with the highest scoring in terms of uh, attractiveness will be white male followed by black male, followed by a Hispanic, Middle Eastern, Pacific Islander, American Samoan, possibly indigenous and uh, this is the group that follows and the two groups that always ends up at the bottom it's Asian male and Indian male okay that is 100% true biological fact there's no twisting your way around it and you know who has the worst Asian men because at least in India almost all the marriages are arranged right however for Asian males in the modern world where the entire you all want the six feet the six figures the six pack and the six inches okay and the, which is a very very small percentage of the population just a high requirement alone right 14.5 percent of the adult male population in the united states is at least six feet 
Six foot one is seven percent. Six foot two is three percent. Okay, just want like what made you interested in in him? And listen, the answer almost one hundred percent of the time is that it's all about this. Okay, see this? It's all about the eight inch big black cock. I'm really not making this up. Women are extremely perverted today. By the way, for comparison, like this is around five inches, and this is actually around eleven inches. And uh, let's just uh, take a moment, okay? I, I want to expand on this. For example, the topic of sex comes up, right? You ask uh, these uh, modern so-called liberal feminist women and say, oh, what's the typical like dick size do you see? Their answer, it's never like this. It's always something like this. Do you know what that means, ladies? Do you know what that means? Is that uh, the guys with average size penis or small penis simply don't get laid, okay? All of the women want the guy with the huge dick. I'm serious, man. I have seen this so many times. And if you don't believe me, you can just do a survey, especially go to American university campuses. Like, go talk seen a throttle body this wreck since the Buckley versus Bowman drag race two summers ago and Buckley totaled his. So don't cry about it. I can fix it. No sweat off my back. You're just going to be without your wheels for a while. But if memory serves, and it usually does, doesn't your sister Kitty have a beach cruiser with the tassels and the hot pink spokes that you can borrow? Come on, Scott, let's go. Or maybe one of your buddies over here can play chauffeur. You better get going, water wingy. Yeah. I uh, still remember your nickname from Camp Takawula. Only third grader who didn't know how to swim. Good luck keeping your head above water with that crew. Later. Whispering winds dancing in my ear. Lost in the rhythm, feeling so sincere. Heartbeats like a drum on Satan breaks Dreamy melodies taking me to a higher place Cascading sounds floating in the air Aching for release like a dream so rare Baseline runs deep Vibrating my soul, embracing the beauty I've been changing out all the light fixtures in the house. Let me show you. I know everyone loves like every fixture in this house. I told you before, I didn't even notice them. I was always just planning on getting rid of them. And then y'all started telling me they're worth something. So I'm holding on to them, okay? I don't know, you've made me feel like I've found gold. I want the inside of this house to feel modern, bright, and new, but maybe I can repurpose these elsewhere or sell them and get a really cool front door, okay? Everyone say it with me. Remember the design inspo for this property, modern with a splash of popcorn ceiling. So here are my new fixtures that I installed. This one's in the hallway, absolutely love it. That one and the two I'm about to show you in the kitchen, I'll link on my Amazon, very affordable. It's not gonna be for everyone, but I love it and it looks so cute in the kitchen. I knew I wanted to do track lighting and I wanted to do something fun, different. I know I say this after everything I do, but I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. But that's it for the fun stuff. In the three bedrooms, I just did the same white modern fan. Yes, I got fan rated boxes up there. Yes, 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 okay. But here's the look, nice and sleek, nice and bright. I went to a gay bar a few nights ago. <laughs> I went with a girl and we're waiting in line. We get to the bouncer. The bouncer's like this big, tough mask lady. Um, my girl like hands her her ID and the bouncer's looking at it 
reading it, looking real close. I'm like, damn, what? Is she about to get rejected or something? Like, it was a real ID. She goes, smile for me. And my girl goes, and she goes, yeah, there's them dimples. Get in there, baby. And my girl, like, blushes. I'm like, what the fuck? I just got violated. I'm like, wait, damn, you ate, but damn. Damn, I, I'm like, shit, give me my ID. Damn, I'm going there mad as fuck after her. I can't with these lesbians. 香港潜水湾海滩啊，这个大爷想找这个老外一起拍照啊，可以看得出这个大爷是趁机卡老外的油，老外有点不情愿。我们看下一个，又来又来一个，又来一个，又旁边又来了一个大爷，又想趁机卡这个老外油啊，可以看见看得看得出老外也是。You heard it wrong. <laughs> what What did I hear wrong? You met Alan. What the fuck? <laughs> are there fears left that you have not conquered yet? What have you? What are you afraid of? Oh wow. Uh, probably singing. Uh, singing would be a huge fear in a movie. Where's oh. my microphone? No, 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 not doing that now. I'm way too afraid. But you're not scared of anything else. Are you scared yes, of? Yes, I actually am. Of in real life. In yes, real life. You that's mean, what I yes, mean. Yes, in real life, I am terrified of porcelain dolls. I heard that. Now. Did something happen to you when you were a child? Did, did a porcelain doll fall on you when you were sleeping? Did it? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I mean, there was a there was like a TV show that had like uh, it was Friday the Thirteenth where it was a possessed porcelain doll. But I just think they're freaky. I just think they're really super freaky. They have like real eyes and they look real and they just I just imagine when I walk by them, their heads turn with you the whole time. <laughs> Tell me you do not have a doll here. I, I, just, I, I could see it in her eyes. I could. I, I'm just, I'm just asking because. Oh, man. oh come on! Look, is that not freaky to anyone else? Look, look at your body language. Look that is not right. Look at it. Why does someone make that? Like that doesn't. All right. Just, just hold my, one. My, my, my wife's mother. I'm not holding just you. Just hold one. one. Um, no, uh, my wife. <laughs> Come on, stop, stop, man. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Kenny. I can't Look, stop it. Okay, see. That, you're gonna. Look. Oh man, you're gonna. You're literally gonna ruin my entire All right. life. All right, my brain. but see, that wasn't that bad. I combined. Oh no, that wasn't bad at all. No. That was that was great. I, I enjoyed it.